So I got to get out here and walk it out, family. Because that's a sad um, mentality, family. When you were asking the most high, am I done yet? No, well, we're soldiers out here. We got work to do. But that brings us to our um, answer. And it's during Romans 8 and 19. And it says, all creation is eagerly waiting for the Most High to reveal who his children are. Uh oh See, we are the answer. His chosen people, his children. We are the answer. And a lot of people don't know they're his children. And they're fighting against them. Mm -mm. they're part of that team we was talking about on the other side and most don't even know it they're working for houses of time and don't even have no kind of position <laughs> sad song working for them for free at that ain't getting no benefits except the ones that they think they're getting the small peanuts <laughs> well other people done sold their souls and getting billions. But it's no amount to go against the most high. Not even for a season. And Matthew 3 and 8 says, So produce fruit that is consistent with repentance. Demonstrating new behavior that proves a change. That proves a change of heart. And a conscious decision to turn away from sin. See, family, this is the real answer right here. Making this conscious decision to turn away from their old and come on into the new life. Where well, Yahushua said, I come to bring life and life more abundant. Hallelujah. And that's what we want, family. For he tells you that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to bring life and life more abundant. And see, this is the answer. This is the answer. Stepping into the true reality of who you are. As the Most High's chosen child, son or daughter. And walking it out. And, and I asked that fellow, I said, well, what are you here for? You asking, are you done? What, have you, what are you here for and what have you done? He said, I'm here to um, follow the commands, follow his, um, follow his commands, I think he said. I said, his laws. His commandments. He said, yeah. I said, and then teach somebody, right? I said, because it's not enough for you to, you to get it and you done. No. You're here for somebody else also. He said, yeah, you right, big boy. I said, all right, that, that, that's what you're here for. And that's, that's what you got to walk out. So no, you're not done. You got work to do, bro. And that's the mentality we all should have. Even though we're tired, we're tired, we're ready to get off the camp stool wheel and not have to do it anymore. Do those things that prove you have turned to the most high and have changed the way you think and act. And what are them things, Robert? Just as I told, told my peoples, you help other people. And basically you tell your testimony. See, if a lot more people told their testimony, family, we'll wrap this thing on up and get on up out of here. Because people are going to hear your testimony and be like, wow, if he can do it, I can do it too. Punchinella, Punchinella. <laughs> if he can, he can come out of that situation he in, why can't I? If the Most High did it for him, why can't he do it for me? Mm -mm. But Proverbs 14 and 12 says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death or destruction. This verse is interpreted to mean that there are paths that appear to be right, but actually lead to pain, regret, and destruction. Mm -mm -mm. And see, that's where a lot of people are at, family, on their hamster's wheel. They're saying, actually, I need to do this my way. 
not the most high's way and getting caught up just like we said in our prior recording you're doing things your way you're saying i don't, I don't care about the purpose that the most high called me to walk it walk out to walk in and walk out i don't care about being prepared for his purpose i'm, I'm preparing myself for my own purpose i want to be a doctor so i'm gonna go study for 12 14 years prepare myself for that purpose and end up working on that on that job for a couple of years and be like, I'm miserable. I don't like this at all. I don't like people. <laughs> Let alone want to save them. There you go. And I spent 12, 14 years in a, in a, um, preparing yourself for that, for this world's system's purpose and figure out you don't want to do it. It's not for you. When you could have just the, the whole time just went to the most high and said, Pop, what you want me to do? What what have you made me for? Why am I here? See, just like when I was in Columbia, Maryland, I started asking them burning questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose? And from that time up until now, some 30 years later, I'm starting to walk in it. Because beforehand, just like I said in the prior recording, some 35 years I've been trying to do things my way. And it doesn't work. I'm on that hamster's wheel, just running, just running, just running. And um, just like those saying goes, I'm just spinning my wheels. But are you tired of the hamster's wheel yet? Chasing that dollar, trying to be like the Joneses? Mm-mm-mm. I'm so glad I don't live that lifestyle no more. I'm trying to be like other folk. People, places, and things. Them cars, them houses. That money. That jewelry. The good food. Mm. You see, that used to be a one for me, fam. I used to love to eat. <laughs> and still do some real good food. I like it, but I can't eat what I used to eat. I sure can't. See, when you suffer that right there, family, you got to back off. They say no side pads that played up. That's too much pain. Mm -mm. I can't go through that again. I know I couldn't physically go through that again. It was too much pain. Well, well, where are you at on that hamster's wheel? Are you just jumping on it without getting the most size plan, wheel, and in, intent for your life and walking it out? Or are you saying forget the most high, like we said in our prior recording? Who comes first, you or him? And this is a good... Um, recording to do after that idea because we're seeing that people are tired. They're tired of their own way, doing it their own way and they're not turning out to be nothing. And at the same time, they're tired even though they're doing things the most size way. Everybody's tired. We're tired of the evil that we're, we're being surrounded by. And everybody feeling and know it. This world is pure plum evil. And it's so thick you can cut it. Just like the text says, darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness to people. I think that's Isaiah 61 or 60. Yeah, and that's where we find ourselves now. In gross darkness. So bad you can cut it with a knife. But we, we spoke on the acid family. It's turning to the most high. And asking the serious questions. Father, what would you have me to do with this life you've blessed me with that you've given me? And get quiet, family. Stop being so fast to run to some preacher or teacher when he said he gives you the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, who's going to lead you into all truth. See, a lot of us can't sit still and, and quiet for more than 10, 15 minutes before we got to check our phone, before we got to grab that remote, 